Hi guys! In a previous video we looked at how coroutines work in Unity. One thing we looked at was the use of yield instructions such as wait for seconds. Today we're going to look at how to create a custom yield instruction that suspends a coroutine until a key is pressed. Ok, we're going to start with a project we previously created in one of our earlier videos which has a simple coroutine that changes the scale of a cube. Let's switch over to the script. Currently the cube grows and shrinks repeatedly in a loop. We're going to create a new yield instruction that requires a key to be pressed before the next loop starts. To do this we need to create a new script. We'll switch back to Unity and add a new script in the Assets folder. We'll call this Wait for Key. Then we'll double click to open the new script. Instead of deriving from mono behaviour, we need to derive from custom yield instruction. We can also delete the empty start and update methods. Next, we want to be able to store the key we're waiting for. We'll add a private field for this. To set this, we'll create a constructor for the class that takes in the key code as a parameter. Then we can set the field to this parameter. All we need to do now is override the keep waiting property. This needs to return true if the coroutine should keep waiting, and false if it should continue. We'll check if the desired key is pressed. If it is, we want to stop waiting, so we'll return false. Otherwise, we'll return true. That's it for this script. Let's save it and switch back to the other script containing the coroutine. Now we can use our new yield instruction to wait before looping again. We'll specify that we want to wait for the left shift key to be pressed. OK, let's save this and switch back to Unity to try it out. After the cube has shrunk back down, it now waits. When we press the left shift key, the sequence starts again. Ok, that covers everything for this video, hope you found it useful. A big thank you to all our patrons, we really appreciate you helping to support the channel. If you'd like to help and also get access to the source code, you can find details in the description. Please leave any questions or feedback in the comments, and subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss the next one. Thanks guys!